its remains were discovered in 2007 in Calo Cave of Northern Luzon, the Philippines. At first, this was identified as modern human, but after discovery of 12 new specimens in 2019, archaeologists compare modern human-like and primitive Australopithecus-like creatures and reassigned them as new species. Homalusonensis, the missing link of Australopithecus and Homo erectus. The exact taxonomic placement of Homo luzonensis is unknown. Like other tropical homonins, DNA extraction failed. Homo luzonensis may be descended from an early Homo erectus. It is also possible that they descend from an entirely different Homo species, possibly earlier than Homo erectus. The bones found in the island were dated to before 50,000 years ago. Their remains of bones and teeth showed possible pygmism. Pygmism means short stature for populations in which adult men are on average less than 150 cm tall. Like other endemic fauna of Luzon Island, H. luzonensis may have shrunk in size due to insular dwarfism. They may need to cross the sea to reach the island. In recent years, the timeline of human evolution has shifted from being that of a simple tree as new species has evolved and branched off. More and more ancient human species have been found to survive within last one lakh years, suggesting that, in some places, at least, there may have been significant overlap between our own ancestors and these ancient species. The cave in which Homo is found was first explored in 2003, when the researchers uncovered nothing of note. After excavating a few meters, they abandoned the site. That was until the human remains found on floors hit the headlines. Suddenly, it was shown that ancient humans could reach these seemingly inaccessible islands. So the researchers went back to Kalao Cave in 2007 to dig a little deeper. In a layer of animal bones that they did too, 67,000 years ago, they made the discovery of a nearly complete human foot bone. Further excavation revealed more human material. Professor Philip Piper from Australian National University says the fossil remains included adult finger and toe bones as well as teeth. We also recovered a child's femur. There are some really interesting features, for example, the teeth are really very small. The size of the teeth generally do not always reflect the overall body size of a mammal. So we think Homo luzonensis was probably relatively too small. Exactly how small? We don't know yet. We need to find some skeletal elements from which we could measure body size more precisely. The features of the remains show an intriguing mix of both modern and ancient aspects. For example, while the teeth look more like those of modern humans, hands and feet seem to match more closely with Australopithecus, who last walked the earth some two million years ago in Africa. The finding of the remains of another short human on a different Southeast Asian island coupled with the primitive features raises intriguing questions. Are ancient humans on floors and Luzon closely related? Or are they separate species that have both succumbed to island dwarfism? Some will argue that 
the primitive features of homologenesis are evidence of a pre-homo erectus dispersal out of Africa, perhaps more than two million years ago. Homofluorescensis and homologenesis would represent some of the last survivors of the primitive early wave lingering on at the fingers of the inhabited world. Others would prefer to regard this island form as descendants of Homo erectus, subject to isolation and island dwarfing over a considerable period of time. Only with the discovery of more ancient human remains on both Luzon and other Southeast Asian islands will answer to these questions. Thank you for watching. Subscribe Reds Biology for more videos. Take care. Bye.